Hi guys and in this week's video I will show you how you can make a video presentation where you can actually scroll through your Dicom images and how you can make something similar also in PowerPoint for your classical PowerPoint presentations. But before we jump right in, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell so you get an email every time I upload a new video. So the reason why I'm, I am showing you this is because I get asked this quite a lot actually, uh, either through email or as a comment in my, one of my YouTube videos. So I figured why not just share with you guys. The thing that you need is a program that allows you to record your screen and one easy way to do is um, this with Filmora Wondershare, it's just a cheap program for 60 dollars or something and you can record from your PC screen and this is exactly what I'm doing right now you can see this here and then what you do you have this Tycom images open with the viewer on your screen you record your screen and during the selection when you want to record you can actually select not to record the full screen but rather a window shown here so now I'm just recording this video here and you can see there is a meniscal tear at the middle side and the cartilage looks quite nice here. You just show it, you scroll, you can click with your mouse etc. Then you can pull in some nice arthroscopy images here as well where you can see the cartilage looks quite nice and stuff, right? And you can see the dates here which I will probably blur out and you can see here uh, just a few weeks later actually one month after the cartilage looked that nice on that uh, image here that on the MR there is severe cartilage damage as opposed to the scan a few weeks earlier so all this cartilage is completely gone now and um, this was after partial meniscectomy as you can see here so very interesting case it's a rapid controlysis but I might use this case for maybe for another video but uh, this has been described so rapid controlysis after a procedure can also happen after injections with uh, local anesthetics etc so uh, yeah interesting cartilage is gone now you do this and then you stop to record then you have this video here in your library you just pull it down and you can see this is now the video that I just recorded here and now normally I didn't crop it out now because it's too complex for me to show you this because I can't screen or can't record how I can record so I would need a second program which is not the case so I can just use the function here I think this one and um, yeah, we can keep the ratio, that's fine. We just make it like this. So we don't need all the rest. So this is now everything you see in the video. There is no like, you know, all the other stuff all around it. And that's basically how I do it. So if you are actually working with some kind of a Dicom uh, web viewer, like here, uh, Collective Minds, Radiologist using the Metrim viewer here. So you just have your Tycom images in your browser, you can actually easily record your browser here without a dedicated software. So there are different ways how to do it. One way is you go to Google. So you type in Chrome Recorder and then you can see here Vimeo has a add-on for Chrome which is good but there is in the official shop here Chrome Web Store screen recorder seems to have 1 million users you can use this one I'm not using this one though I have another one I have the one by Vimeo like this one here because I have a Vimeo account so I have the Vimeo screen record you can see there is this button here I can just press this one here and you can see it's now recording my correct microphone I'm not recording the webcam I could so hi guys I make it off so stupid and yeah so basically I just want to record my screen I press start recording and it's very good because you can now select the whole screen you can just select one of the windows that you have open like the packs or the PowerPoint or just one specific tab here and what I'm now want to do is I just want to record the 
mixed type collective minds radiology uh, tab and that's this one here so not the first one but this one here this is with the metastream viewer share and it's now recording and you can see it cropped everything else out so everything above here is not visible in the video it's just the framework here and you can now scroll through you can do this you can preload the images you can also zoom in nicely and show the stuff like this and then if you want to stop you just stop here and it's now uploading this to my Vimeo account so it's already saved and you can add the description like this and yeah there is even a link for it but I want to download it and I want to use it in my video that I'm actually making right now so this is confusing yeah I'm recommending this very good okay and then um, we we'll, we'll leave it with this we open this one and we go back to my recording software I just pull the video in here and this is now the video that I can use now here in the timeline and you can see now up here it's everything else of the browser is gone it looks like I was recording the packs alone and you can see everything else has been cropped out it was just recording that tab so very easy I like this now you still want to have some kind of video editing software but there are even more simpler versions than this one and for a simple presentation I think it's quite good. So let's come back to PowerPoint. How do you actually make something similar happen in PowerPoint? And we can quickly show you this here. So I was researching this myself and let me quickly show you which video I found. I found the video by Matt Skalski. He's a very great guy, makes great illustrations and he showed this here and you can see I watched this actually even five years ago and I came across the video and was very happy that he showed this in such uh, clarity and I put the link in the description down below. So basically I'm just showing you his method now how it works. So the first thing that you need to do is basically export your images from a DICOM file format to a JPEG or PNG and most pack systems or yours actually allow you to do this. So you go to series and just press export and you just save it somewhere where you want to have it, right? I did it already and in case you have a different DICOM viewer, uh, it's really most can do this. So you just select JPEG and you choose a folder so you find it and export it. So once you have exported it, you go back to PowerPoint and let's zoom in, you put the images now in. So what you need to do is import, fortunately this is German, but uh, uh, you get around it, import images from this machine or this uh, computer and you just select all of the images that you just exported put them in and it, it looks quite ugly now here at the top right corner if you are at the image in uh, formatting tab there is a tab which in English would um, be called a line and what you want to do is you want to center them horizontally and you want to center them vertically and now you have a selected stack of all the images so as you can see I'm moving all of them and if I just click next to it so they're all on top of each other now if I just select one it's now just one selected so I need to mark them all again so I can move them around so once you have all your cases selected what you need to do is you need to assign them an animation and you just select all of them you click this animation icon and here you need to choose the with the click kind of starting animation and then once you go through it you can see you can actually now scroll through this stack of images now what you don't want to do is you want to you don't want to put a next series next to it because you cannot switch back and forth if you use PowerPoint like this so in order to show you the other uh, series that we exported what you actually need to do is you need to make this on a new slide at least I haven't figured out another way to do it so if you know it just let me know um, I'm always happy to learn but for me uh, I think that's the easiest way to do so we have all selected we go to animations we click this one and we use 
this one um, there is no delay obviously and we just go through the images here and now if we start at the top we can go through the presentation we have rapid controlysis, we show the tear here before meniscectomy or partial meniscectomy with the normal cartilage and then you scroll through the last image and you come to the next slide and there you can scroll through the next. So this is one way how you can use this also in real life PowerPoint presentations when you want to show the actual Dicom image stack. Mind that you cannot really, you know, window and do stuff like that or zoom. So you really need to crop the images beforehand. That's kind of like the point. So that's it for this week. And just one last thing before you go, check out my new homepage. Uh, it's now available and you can see I have a little different layout and there are some news. I'm actually now promoting my virtual MSK fellowship where I offer one-on-one -on -one teaching once a week. This is certainly for those who really want to become you know, or get to the next level in MSK radiology and somehow don't achieve this on their own, then I offer group teaching that you can basically book your sessions in here. It's always on Saturdays, but it's only happening when actually there is somebody that's, uh, yeah, wants to get group teaching. So it's a small group teaching. I think that's uh, a good option for for you if you don't want to fully commit and obviously you have all the other stuff that i'm doing so go check it out and with that thanks for watching and see you next time